I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a video on inequalities where we will involve fractions. So the sign here which I have used is greater than. So when we write like this, it means greater than. As you know, 7 is greater than 5. That is what we mean by this symbol, right? Now the question for you is, write true or false, provide correct answer if false. You can actually pause the video, copy the question, solve, and then look into my solutions. So we are given 3 over 7 is greater than 4 over 7. True or false? Next. 1 over 2 is greater than 1 over 4. 5 over 6 is greater than 7 over 9. 2 over 3 is greater than 3 over 4. 5 over 7 is greater than 5 over 6. So once you have solved, check into my solution. How do we solve such questions? Well, there are different ways. Uh, so I'll discuss them one by one. The first question is straightforward. We have the same denominator. Now, if you have same denominator, then it is very simple. Just check the numerators. We want 3 over 7 and 4 over 7. We want to check which is greater. Of course, 4 is greater than 3. So here, this is false. It should have been 3 over 7 is less than 4 over 7, right? So when we have the same denominator, the numerator we check which is greater. It's easy, right? The second question here is, what different denominators? Now, what do we do when the de denominators are different? Then one thing is that we could make common denominator, right? And then check. So to make common denominator, I have 4 here. I have to multiply this by 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is 1. Multiplying by 1 is not going to change half, right? But I, if I do that, I can make common denominator. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So I get 2 over 4. And that is what the question becomes. Now it is easy. Yes, 2 is greater than 1. So this is true. Do you see that? So that is another way of checking which is greater. Now this is also a technique which takes a lot of time. Let me tell you easy way of doing it. What is the easy way? I call it cross multiply. Cross multiply. See how easy it becomes. So in cross multiply, you multiply this number 5 by 9. What do you get? 5 times 9. Let me show you here. We are given 5 over 6 and 7 over 9. Correct? So we'll cross multiply. We'll multiply 9 with 5. We get 45 here. Correct? And then we'll multiply 6 by 7. We get 42. Now you decide which is greater. Oh, we know 45 is greater than 42. That is what is given, so it is true. You get an idea. So this is the best way of answering such questions. Perfect. So when fractions are given, cross multiply. So when I cross multiply, I get 4 times 2 as 8. 3 times 3 is 9. We know 9 is greater, not 8, so it is false. Here we get 7 times 5 as 35. 6 times 5 is 30. 35 is greater. 30 is lesser. So this is also false. You get an idea, right? So the correct answer for false will be we have to change the sign of the inequality, right? So we have 5 over 7 is less than 5 over 6. In this case, we have 2 over 3 is less than 3 over 4 and so on. Perfect. So that is how you could answer such questions. So remember, the great technique which you have learned here is cross multiply. So if we have any fraction A over B and C over D, we multiply, right? A with D, so we get AD, and then we multiply BC, 
and then you compare right and then write down your symbol so this symbol is for greater than this is for less than and that is for equal to so these are the three symbols which you might use in answering such question i hope that helped feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best